This video will define and explain supply and the law of supply. It will also show you how to draw a supply curve. So, what's supply? Well, basically, supply is a quantitative measure. So, it is the quantity of a good or service that producers are both willing and able to sell at a given price in a given time period. So, if you look at a certain price over a certain period of time, the quantity of the product, whether it's a good or service, that producers are both willing and able to sell, this is the supply of that product. Now, the law of supply is very similar to the law of demand, which we introduced in one of the previous videos. What does the law of supply say? Well, basically, it says, ceteris paribus, which is a very important assumption, other things held constant. As the price of a product rises, the quantity supplied of that product will usually increase. So, ceteris paribus, when price rises, quantity supplied will in usually increase, and the opposite is true. When price falls, quantity supplied will usually decrease, and this is the law of supply. Remember, this assumption, ceteris paribus, is very important. So, why is the law of supply as such? Well, basically, higher prices usually mean that producers can earn a higher profit, so higher potential profits. This would encourage current producers in the market to increase the quantity supplied. So, that explains that when price rises, quantity supplied will usually increase. At the same time, higher prices will encourage more producers to enter the market, which will also lead to an increase in quantity supplied. So both of these reasons explain why there's a positive causal relationship between price and quantity supplied. When price rises, quantity supplied often increases, and when price falls, quantity supplied often decreases. So, what is the difference between an individual producer's supply and the market supply? Basically, it's just a matter of adding it all up together. So, market supply is the sum of all individual producers' supply at a given price in a given period of time. So, if you look at a certain price over a certain period of time and add up all the supply by individual producers, this will give you the market supply. So, how is the law of supply visually represented? Well, basically, it is visually represented through the supply curve. We know that when price rises, quantity supplied usually increases. There's a positive causal relationship. And this is how we draw a supply curve. Basically, it's a um, positively sloped curve. When price rises, quantity supplied increases. When price falls, quantity supplied will usually decrease. Um, here we're having a look at the market for frozen pizzas. Obviously, when the price of frozen pizzas um, rises, uh, current producers of frozen pizzas will increase the quantity supplied so that they can make more profit. Also, this might encourage other producers to come in and sell frozen pizzas as well. And this explains why the supply curve is positively sloped.